Greetings, Keechlings. Keech Prime here with my live reaction of One Piece, Chapter 1055. Rocking some Zoro merch, and I would have had a Hearts Pirate knit cap, but I think my cousin might have accidentally taken it when he was here. He really loved watch, you know, wearing it, so I'm kind of wondering. Did he do it on purpose or by accident? But either way. Um, so, yeah. Last chapter was awesome. A lot of discussion to be had with that one. Um, now, let's see where this one takes us. Okay, it looks like we've got a promo. Or not a promo, but like more like hype for the Film Red movie. Let's see. The One Shanks Guides. And you got Luffy in his movie attire. You got Shanks in the background. Alrighty. Let's, and there be the promo. There's Utah, Luffy in the present day. Normal kind of outfit there. Kind of Shanks in the background. The place where the movie will be taking place, which I forget it was like Rainbow something oh apparently there's uh three issues in a row new age so what there's supposed to be a uh okay we're, we're getting movie related stuff and so yuta's song was born yuta listened uh pirates have stormed the town yuta they got my dad save us yuta the, the houses are burning. Yuta. Yuta Chan. What the fuck power does she have? <laughs> um, it's not here. A, a pen. A pen. I need it. So she's writing down music on, oh god, a broken wall. It's done. My magnum opus. Okay, so she's going to be what? A giant pop star or something in the movie then? But anyway, um, New Age is the title, and the party is in full swing. Okay, the Straw Hats are still exploring the festival grounds. Stop your motto. Now we're back on the fight. Why? Why won't you let me fight? You mustn't lay a hand on him. <clears throat> so we're still in the thick of or I guess still in the bush, so to speak, with uh, Green Bull there. Beating the shit out of poor, poor Momo. Like, he, in a week, he did not get any stronger, I hate to say it. He he got wrapped up last time after trying to bite him. That didn't do anything. Now he's being slammed to the ground. Ninpo, scroll, scroll, jutsu, fire release. Okay, so that was probably... Um, Wait, that's probably just regular fire. That's probably not even Kaido. <clears throat> Gah, just kidding. Oh, shit. Fireproof forest. You're up against a Navy Admiral. Uh, that really makes no fucking sense. And now that's, that's kind of terrifying in a way. Like, a force main thing of like you know dryness fire burning all that that's apparently just gone so now that almost makes you wonder could he fight a kainu now not that they really would theoretically because they're like he's an uber fanboy of the man so it's like hmm i, I bring all this up because of uh one of teching's recent videos where he, he brought that up and then also just discussing you know like what could deal with Green Bull, so. But now we know that fire doesn't seem to work, or at least regular levels of fire, because that is not a Kaido Boro breath. You think I wouldn't be able to guard against such an obvious weakness? Wait. Oh, maybe that's just the texture on his face. I was like, maybe he's like, maybe he's learning to like hydrate his body or something. Uh oh, he's going for a corkscrew? Rizo! Oh shit. <clears throat> he got pierced through. Oh shit. And now he's being drained of his bodily fluids. He got drank. Rizo! Rizo san! 
Damn you. Um, I don't know if you're going to do much better, my fish lad. No matter how much we cut, it just keeps growing back. We must, he must have some weaknesses, right? Is, is weed whacking really all we can do? Um, I think you need hockey to deal with this dude, to be honest. And even then, I'm not sure. Let's see here. Okay, everyone's getting hentied right now. Um, we've got Denjiro. We've got... Why can't I ever remember the freaking fishman's name? Why? I feel so bad. And then uh, Nekamamushi. Okay, Castle Basement. Alrighty, so... Kozuki uh, Sakayaki's uh, secret room. Even further down. Oh shit, really? The fuck's down there? Okay, so Robin's being taken down there. Wait, who's the other dude? Oh wait, that's Law. Damn it, of course, my cousin steals the damn heart pirates and he's gonna be a part of this chapter. I swear, if it's not in this room or something, I, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna assume he accidentally took it when he was packing up his own stuff, but still. <clears throat> Um, be careful where you are. No, nope, I'm reading it the wrong way. You did well to sniff us out. You make it sound like I'm a hyena. Okay, so Law found them. <coughs> <coughs> mm, excuse me. I simply noticed the two of you weren't with the others. That naturally made me wonder if you were up to something. Be careful where you step. The ground is covered with mold. I never told, uh... Orochi or Kaido about this passage, but they were still able to find the Poneglyph in no time. Because they had a fishman on their crew. The All-Star Jack. Oh, so Jack actually played a fucking role in something. Wait, where exactly... I, now I'm confused. How did Jack find it? How would being a fishman help? Is it underwater? That will be clear when you see it. How far down does this go? Hmm, let's see. I would say it goes a few hundreds... It goes a few hundreds of years deep. What? <laughs> I think he meant actual distance, not how long it's been down there. <clears throat> Where's that dim light coming from? Uh, there is a glass block window at the end of the crawl space. You can climb in there and and take a peek, and we would already be below sea level. No fair. Oh. So they are under... Oh, God. It's old, old Wano. Is this underneath the, like, the, like the lake ocean kind of deal? Is that Wano underwater? That is an older Wano. From about 800 years ago. What do you mean? Exactly as I said. Although as to why it ended up like this, I have no idea. <clears throat> okay, I'm starting to wonder. With the way that stuff was situated back then, either the place sunk, or maybe Orr's descent, you know, like... No, it would have been Orr's ancestors, actually, because he was only 500. And he might have been born at the start of the Void Century and whatnot. <clears throat> but, um... What if, like, Orr's ancestors, like, scrunched Wano when they were seemingly, like, building it? You know, piecing it together, and it just kind of, like, grew the, uh... The like the mountain ridge that keeps all that water in and it just kind of flooded the place when it captured the water this is what I do know long ago Wano was much larger and located at sea level on the land around the base of Mount Fuji okay at some point walls were erected all around enclosing the island as a result the rainwater had no place to escape I guess evaporation wasn't a thing. <clears throat> a 
and whole towns were eventually submerged and abandoned. That is an older Wano from 800 years. Oh, I'm rereading a panel. My bad. The land further up mountain was established for settlers. And that grew into the country we are familiar with today. The current Wano. Precisely. They've arrived at the Poneglyph. We have arrived. This is the load Poneglyph. Oh my god, we have... It's a red stone. It's really here. This is our third. They only have one left. We just have one more to travel to Laftel. We're in a cavern near the foot of Mount Fuji. Oh shit. <clears throat> if you continue to trek a little, little deeper, it is said that you would find the sleeping ancient weapon Pluton. Oh shit. Big revelations. Okay. Uh, Gabriel from work did say that there was a lot of stuff to discuss in this chapter, and I'm already seeing it big time. We've got, like, the, the modification of Wano over the years, or the centuries, I should say, and now we've got where Pluton sleeps. So, I would have never seen it myself, and, it, and I'm unable to show it to you. Hmm... So I'm kind of wondering, it was probably at a port in Old Wano, and then it, you know, more or less got flooded in. Trapping it down there. Retrieving Pluton will require, <clears throat> require the removal of the walls that surround this nation. Opening the country is quite a literal act. Oh my god, I would have never thought about that. I mean, it makes sense given the the treacherous ways that you have to get into this country. Unless you have the access to that one, like, underground port. But still, we would, we would lose our greatest defense and set loose one of the ancient weapons. Opening the country unleashes Pluton? Why would Kazuki Odin want that? Everything I've told you was passed down through generations of Shogat. <clears throat> or Shogun, well, I can't, of Shogun rule. Yeah. Shogunate. <laughs> That's the word I was trying to say. I could not speak to what Odin may have learned himself during his voyages in the outside world, and we're getting more, um, more of the, uh, partying. This time with Beppo and Killer, of all people. <clears throat> <coughs> The flower capital. No man can hope to stand against the forces of nature alone, so we're back with the fight. Get it if get it? If Kaido was still in charge, I wouldn't have come here. Hmm. I'm sure living under his re regime was miserable, but the order he imposed was the deterrent that kept other predators from targeting your country. Just being just bring me Straw Hat Luffy already. I... Oh, God. I'll leave you be after I take his head. So he, he's got all of them now. Let's call Luffy and the gang and show this guy who's boss. No, that's unacceptable. The same goes for you. Do not touch him. After all that time chained up in Onigashima, you finally have your chance to be free. So is this implying that, yes, Yamato is a straw hat, <laughs> and Momo doesn't want the straw hats to do anything to this guy? Huh? This is why I refuse to taint your send-off. Yep. Up until now, I have continued to rely on Luffy, Zoro, and the others, but it is imperative to prove that those of us who were staying here can repel our enemies on our own. And they're all in agreement. If we still have to depend on the people who wish to leave, how can we look or look any of you in the eyes and say that Wano is safe with us? I mean, he's got a good point. Momonosuke-kun. Now be gone, you demon tree. Get out of here. And he's still trying to do the Boro breath. It's just not working. 
So you're just a spoiled kid. I guess even dragons can be pathetic. I said leave! His anger is starting to manifest into a borrow breath. Oh, shit! It happened. <laughs> uh -uh. What? It actually came out? Mamonosuke-sama. Well, he's back on the ground now. But did that actually do any lasting damage to our tree man? Momonosuke-sama, that was... It was a spitting image of Kaido's. Be gone! Be gone! He's rapid-firing now? Hang on, you crazy bastard. Amazing, he's managed to control the dragon form. But his aim still leaves much to be desired. <laughs> hey, I mean... The dude's literally just stuck. Oh my god. I think he's starting a forest fire. <laughs> oh, sh... What a pain. Oh my god, you've burned him down to a sprout. And he's trying to grow, but... Easy now. He's kind of burning? Or is that his hair? That might be his hair. He's grooting. <laughs> um, let's see here. Seriously, is he trying to burn down the whole town? So he's regrown himself, and now he's manifesting the forest again, it seems like. Since you're so hell-bent on playing hardball, have it your way. I'll skewer you and your wannabe kaido routine from mouth to tail. Did he just hockey up his arm? Wait a minute. What the fuck? Whoa, wait, wait. He senses something. That's Conqueror's hockey. Who the hell? The red-haired pirates? You're here too? Oh, so Shanks was like, you leave my little protege alone. <laughs> Boss, don't just go out, go all out with your hockey like that. All the newbies are foaming at the mouths. <laughs> I won't call you Marines cowardly or underhanded for this, but... Wouldn't you... Wait. Why are you just talking to someone who's miles away? But that's showing off... Uh, the power of Shanks. Wouldn't you agree it's bad form to go after those worn out saplings? When you're exhausted from making pirate... Or when they're exhausted from making pirate history? There's Luffy when he... He scarred himself trying to you know, prove himself. And then there's Momo. And then there's Hiori. Does the new age frighten you that much? Damn. I get it all right. It's not like I want to pick a fight with you guys. Not today, anyway. Damn. Okay, so he left. And now we're back to the party. Okay, this chapter got interesting. Um... He's gone, she, she, she. Oh, so Luffy, he was, he was reading it all. Guess we don't need to lend a hand after all. I love that, like, the big four were aware of everything that was going on, and they're just happy that it's like, they can, they can take care of themselves. This is good. Well, plus a little help with Shanks, but still. Guess we don't need to lend a hand after all. Check Momo out. Indeed, and... That hockey just now was really something, too. Yeah, who was that? A familiar face just popped into my head. Aw, oh, Luffy knows who it was. Because he experienced that hockey firsthand. At least what we can only assume in Chapter 1 when we saw Luffy being saved by Shanks. And Shanks gave up his arm, but then it was like, But Shanks, your arm! But he had, like, did that glare to the King of the Coast, so... A ship drifting in the vast ocean. So the Red Force is off to One Piece. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Solid chapter. Solid chapter. Um, a lot of discussion points to be made is, you know, like... I love that Shanks is, like, trying to nurture the new generation. Um... Green Bull does plan on fighting the red-haired... <laughs> so I'm like, what? He's like, I don't want to fight you today. 
Not today, anyway. <laughs> I wasn't going to pick a fight with you. Not today, anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's that. Then there's basically confirmation that, um, yes, Yamato will be going with the Straw Hats. So, I guess, crewmate confirmed. Um, the... Uh, <clears throat> Momo finally learning Boro's breath, and he can seemingly do it more than once in succession, so... Okay, remember when I kind of, like, said, it was like, okay, a week probably wasn't enough? I guess he just has to, like, stoke the flame, so to speak, with his anger. That does seem to be what ignites it, quite literally, in this case. But hey, he burned down all of, um... You know green bulls forest so that was that was pretty epic i have to say um for our little cowardly dragon boy um so yeah there was that then there was um obviously the biggest revelations were what wano used to look like opposed to what it looks like now and the theories abound to probably how that happened 800 years ago um, hell, maybe, uh, the whole thing of, like, giants working alongside the government is actually a thing that just hadn't happened in so long. Um, and maybe the giants just broke it off eventually and was like, eh, fuck you guys, you wanna do bullshit. But what if they actually contracted, like, Orr's clan of the demon giant? and stuff to like do everything we know about Wano's like formation and its weird geography and it was like they just kind of like started pushing islands towards the main core of the island which is the capital and just kind of piecemealed it and then that raised you know mountains up and everything or mountains were already on those islands and then that's what caused the uh, the bowl effect which then, the rainwater, which I'm like, really, I don't, like, that would have taken a long fucking time. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So there's definitely that to be discussed. And also that Pluton is in the, in the heart of it all. So it's like, I'm assuming it was probably at a dry dock or a port somewhere in Old Wano. And then it became you know, trapped as the water levels went up, and the fact that Jack is the one who basically found all this shit. So, I'm guessing when they invaded Wano way back when, that that was probably maybe a discovery he made while scouting it out. You know, because he would have probably been able to go up the waterfalls and everything, and he was probably like, you know, sneaking around. It's like, yeah, let's see what this country got for us. You know. I... I wouldn't think so, but, because he wouldn't have been able to go alone, but, because, you know, being a Devil Fruit user and all, but we, we could potentially see him doing something like that, right? If you gave him a suit, <laughs> like he could, you know, like just have a collar around him to where he could get to his gills, but then he's like completely contained in the suit. And then it would be no different than if he was, like, drinking water or whatever. Or maybe taking a bath. But then, like, most of his body can't be, you know, touching the water. So then he could still swim. Is that actually the... How you would do this? I don't know. But presumably Jack somehow figured it a way around that. But, good lord. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. But it's looking like Wano, their whole, like, open the, you know, the country is quite literal. But as uh, Sakayaki said, that it would breach their greatest defense. They wouldn't have this walled-in, you know, like, Swedish defense anymore. So... <clears throat> and that would be bad, but then again, given, you know... Momo just repelled or helped repel an admiral of all things. 
I think they might be all right. And maybe they could work out some kind of a deal with the government in some form or fashion, but I doubt it. It's like, we want to keep our neutrality. We won't mess with you. You don't mess with us. But I don't see Momo doing that either. He would probably just have him and his samurai just fight to the death protecting the country and its secrets. So, <clears throat> we'll have to wait and see. But, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, there's probably something else I missed. But let me know your own thoughts and opinions. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, which I was not a part of this time, which is sad, but I was just so tired from work. Um, <clears throat> it just too damn hot. Um... But anyway, so, but go check it out. Um, they did it last night, so should still be a fun discussion. And uh, yeah, as always, later days. And until next time, Kishlings, let's sail to One Piece. Left tail. Only one poneglyph left, folks, and then we're heading there. <laughs>